Welcome back to the basic web security tutorial. So last chapter we talked about operating system firewall and this one we're going to talk about uh, sorry that we're I because <laughs> I'm not a team. I'm going to talk about antivirus uh, protection security. So uh, on my computer I'm using uh, AVG it's uh, free I guess you can see so let me open this to see uh, more detail about it uh, let's go see uh, the slide about antivirus what happened is if uh, the virus went through the other uh, the other aspects it went through the network firewall then it went the security threat went through the network firewall then it went through the security firewall then it, so it uh, affected your computer. As you can see, it's uh, like a fly sweat. You try to uh, kill that uh, the viruses that are already in, and here you you try to uh, heal the the computer that's infected. So this should be already loaded. Let me show you how it uh, functions. So this antivirus has a regular antivirus. Here you can see like a mine or a virus uh, through a microscope. It has other features. It has a uh, link scanner, anti-spyware, uh, email scanner. That's 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 nice. Sorry, sorry. It has a limited resident shield, and uh, there you go. So let's go. Uh, when, I, when I talk about antivirus, antivirus, I talk about only this aspect. Let's go see it. Okay. So it, it, it go. It does a computer scanner. So that it scans for uh, viruses. So you can. I could do a manual one. I decide to do it right away, or I directly uh, scan a file. What I usually do to scan a file, instead of going here to this interface, I just right click the file. Sorry, the file right here, and I use uh, on a right click here scan with AVG free instead of uh, going oh, oh, of, oh here oh, going to the system tray or uh, double clicking the icon loading the thing going to computer scanner and, and here scan specific file or folder. I will just go to uh, Windows uh, op operating file system and I right click on a file. So that's uh, pretty quick. I think uh, most uh, antivirus would have that. So there you go. The important thing is to always have it regularly. So every day or every 12 hours or whatever time you feel that you it might uh, be a risk uh, to your computer, how long you can live with a virus. So here I might, I might have a virus here. Uh, it's been like 6 hours or 12 hours depending uh, when I got it. So how long can I live? This is a personal computer. I don't have much secret on it. I don't have like my credit card number or uh, like a patent uh, work work needed patent or uh, some, some, if I had a company uh, a big company. Sorry I, I have a small company but if I let me pause this I don't want to hear that ringing. So I muted the telephone. Sorry about that. So if I had a big company, it had I had important contracts. Uh, I I had deadlines. I had stuff like that. I had uh, 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 factor uh, bills. I have a bill uh, uh, software that I list all my clients. Uh, that I list all my employees, all my tools, all my resources. Uh, you know, important stuff for business that uh, other business might want to put a hand on it. Uh, most businesses will simply ask or deduce, but some might be less scrupulous and they might uh, try to hack you. So this would be uh, things that, that, you know, I would uh, either uh, put the anti antivirus uh, in less and less interval, but at some point it's going to hug too much a computer and I will need a better resident shield. So this has a uh, basic resident shield. So uh, with uh, uh, advance, with, uh, here, uh, here you see. If if I click here, it will show me to the non-free version, and I will have complex threat detection. So this one is only if I have an executable or conventional viruses uh, will warn me. Uh, or here it has the link scanner. If I go to a bad site, but it won't. Uh, 
block uh, non-conventional threats coming in and uh, th th there's been statistics and uh, like 95 percent of uh, of uh, viruses uh, use non-conventional, uh, <coughs> sorry, non-conventional uh, threats. So uh, I would need, uh, I would need a better antivirus. I would need something that keeps on uh, looking at my resources. I download the file. Uh, it, it checks uh, uh, w what it's downloading. I I have a cookie. It looks at the cookie. Uh, here you can here you see it's an image of a cookie. I will talk about this later. Oops, here you see cookie allow uh, here cookie yeah <laughs> allow cookie. I will talk about this later uh, uh, upcoming chapter. Oops, sorry. So um, <clears throat> yes, uh, I have a threat. I have a threat. I have my computer affected. I want to get rid of the threat. Uh, it, it get rid of the threat. I have a resonant shield. It's a basic one. Uh, it, it conventional threats like uh, like would get on a floppy disk. Uh, it it it. It stops me from uh, executing uh, uh, affected, infected executable. But if I get uh, this, that's only five, ten percent of the threats. All the other threats are gonna come in. It's gonna affect my computer. I'm gonna have my computer infected up to the amount that I have scheduled my computer. So in my case, it will be 24 hours. I might have uh, when I been scanned. I might have a virus for 23 hours, 59 minutes, 59 seconds. So, uh, so you know, so if I if it's that, if it's too much of a threat, I'm going to lower this. And at some point, uh, if it if it that uh, the, the, that if I can't live with such a uh, long time, I'm going to lower the the schedule. But at some point, it's going to use too much resources, and I'm going to need a, a be best a be better uh, resident shield so uh, it might not be enough so we'll talk about a, an aspect of that uh, risen shield and um, and uh, next chapter but uh, there's uh, I don't uh, pay for software so uh, these, these kinds of software sorry so uh, it might be better but in my case I can live with a threat so I'm gonna talk about more about this in the next chapter and I'm also gonna talk about uh, how better it might be let me uh, stop